Hey, it's Peach Dude Man. We're in the power plant. I guess I'm just exploring for items and stuff. I mean, the big draw to coming here is Zapdos, which we're not able to collect with what we're doing. Slash. Sand slash. Sand slash. What do you slash at people? Sand. Slash. Slash. So, looks like you're done drawing that picture. I'm not done. Oh. I oh yeah, we don't have we don't have we, Oh yeah, we don't have facial expressions. <laughs> Where, where's our eyes and mouths? We it's don't, totally done. We don't need eyes and mouths. Nope, nope, not we don't even need color. <laughs> we don't even need clean <laughs> No, lines. I was about to say, "Oh, you're about to start the coloring." I'm like, "Wait a minute. No, no you're still no. a ways off from that." But, <laughs> I mean, I could I could color and shade this without the eyes and mouth. That would be very creepy though. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I kind of want to jokingly do that now. So, Rosie uh, kind of got to be the boss at work today. I kind of did. I didn't accept the role, though. Well, you you had to, but you didn't want to. No, no. Well, there wasn't really a lot of boss things for me. No, not me. really. You just were, by I default, was, the most senior member of, like, person, what you were... Yeah. Of your department. <laughs> I was the person everybody came to whenever they had a problem. Was basically my job today. Um, I've only been at my job for like a year and I think a half at this point. Uh huh. A year and a half. And um, today my supervisor was on vacation. Two of our other artists were sick, and one of our artists is always um. Oh, what's it called? She works from home. Oh yeah. She's, yeah. she's not around, so she can't. Uh, she she, she works remotely. Yeah, she works remotely is more the accurate term because she's in a different state. Um, and so it was basically me and our newest artist. And so today, I took on the big project that one of our sick artists always does every morning. I did all of the paginating. And then when anybody had problems, they came to me about it because I was the only senior member <laughs> of all the artists. <laughs> because our new person's only been around for it less than six months. And they can't go to the person who's, you know, um, remote because most of those problems are things you have to do in the office. So it was a lot of fun. And then I had to, like, image because another one of our sick persons was the imager. Not only that, but, like... Hey, heart. Zapdos, bye. Oh, fuck you, Zapdos. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants you. All right. Um, where am I going to go now? We, I could surf down from Fuchsia, or I could... Well, I guess I could surf around here and see if there are any cool items. I guess I'll do that. Sorry, did I interrupt you? Oh, no. No? I, I, thought I, I thought you were in the middle of a sentence. Yeah, I was, but then I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, shit, sorry. It's okay. It wasn't really that entertaining anyways. Um, I was going to say, though, it's actually... Um, I'm probably going to be, like, the most senior member of the music faculty at the elementary level here <laughs> yeah. soon. Because I, I, teach, I teach elementary level music, and I'm on my third year right now, but where there's only four, including myself, only four elementary music teachers in this district. So, like, one of them has it, been talking about retiring for a while. He, he might actually try, he might, he might actually be able to do it at the end of this year. If that's the case, that leaves me and two other people where this is their first year. And last year we had two people that this is their first year. We had a really high turnover rate. I'm like the only new person who's actually stuck around. So, yeah. Yeah. Gotta love high turnover rates, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you no. know, I don't want to talk about work stuff too much. But, I mean, the big problem is that... It's not a very appealing, uh, it's not a very appealing music teaching position for those schools, uh, because they don't have music rooms anymore. Yeah. They, they, they have to travel classroom to classroom or, or teach in the cafeteria. And like when you're a music teacher with like all your xylophones and keyboards and everything, that's just not very appealing. Um, so, and a lot of those teachers that, that have been leaving are, are people much more experienced than I, so they're used to better conditions. Where for me, mm -hmm. this is my, A, this is my first teaching gig, and B, that's not the case for my schools. I guess I lucked out, because I've got the schools that are really super supportive of their music programs and have really nice music rooms. Yeah. So yay me. 
Also, I mean, overall, <laughs> it's just hard to find any teaching, any person that's willing to be a teacher nowadays, just because it's such, you know, it's the kind of job you only go for the emotional rewards, you know? Well, uh, from the standpoint that, yeah, at least in the in the States, I don't know what things are like in other countries. I hear good, I hear bad. Yeah. Um, but at least in the States, you don't go into teaching if, if your goal is is to land a career that where you're making lots of money. Yeah, you make no. decent money as a teacher. You're, you you're make instead, a but it's wage. nothing. It's nothing to to write home about. <laughs> no, I mean if you have like a small family or if it's just you and your significant other, it's a livable wage. You know. Yeah. Like it's not crap, but yeah. it's it it's, could be better. Yeah, <laughs> it's not like whoa, you're a teacher. Yeah, which so. is sad because I mean I feel like that's. But it should be a much more valued job in our society. It's not even a valued job in our town, hon. No, it's not. Because we keep talking about, like, let's say, I mean, I, I guess this isn't really talking about work. It's just talking about our town. Like, we had this, like, big, like, measure uh, that went out that we had to vote on, on, like, if we want to, like, fund, you know, put more funding to our schools by adding this tax. And the, the consensus was no. No, mm -hmm. we, we don't really care about our education. We'd rather have no funds towards education if it means not not heightening our taxes. But look, oh, okay. And then the and thing. then and then what else didn't get what didn't get voted on was you know s funding for the library. So we're losing our library because well, because is, it's not getting funded. Oh, okay. At least with the library tax. Okay, here's the thing though. Their plan was really crap because they were like, well, let's just heighten property taxes. Property taxes here are way too high. Already. I mean, that's one yeah. of the main reasons why you have so many homeless people in this But town. it's still, I mean, even so, it still shows that, you know, the priorities aren't Obviously, towards education. Exactly. Because if you prioritize that more, then you would probably, maybe, I don't know. Which maybe, maybe the, I just care about a lot about education since I'm a teacher. But, but no, like, no, it's not just that. It's a really the problem with funding because, like, the moment they didn't, they said they weren't going to pass that library legislature, the people... People, like the government positions of our town, everyone got a raise, especially like the head of everything uh, got a huge raise and it made like front page news and stuff because it was so ridiculous. Uh, yeah, so obviously, you know, it's not that they didn't have plan B, it's just they didn't, they didn't want anything. They didn't want to support education because they wanted a bigger pay raise. Okay, so it's just corruption. It's corruption. It's straight up <laughs> corruption. <laughs> Like, it's not because our community doesn't value it. Trust me, our community does value it because you wouldn't see as much advertisement for it around I, I guess I'm generalizing too much with community. I, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm talking more about, like, I guess administration. Administration. Yeah, not... You know, the big problem. Not, people, not the people. The people care. People they definitely do, no, care. People the people do, really care. They really care. I mean, I... Because, I mean, I work by a library. One of the libraries. And, like... Being around there and seeing like all the support from the community for that. It's amazing that that legislator didn't get voted on. Yeah. But I mean, once again, probably it's just a bad plan. I mean, because administration didn't care. It just, I mean, it definitely feels like, you know, you're, you're going to be like, oh, big shock, big shocker. Just, uh, our country of the United States has so much that's built upon business and money making that uh, so many like things that are just moral decisions uh, are entirely built upon the fact that people will do the right thing because it's the right thing, where option B is, I get to make more money. Well, here's the problem. If you don't have those little like infrastructures like education stuff, no one's going to be able to make money in the future. Oh, but the, but the people of the <laughs> present don't care! The people in power right now no, don't simply care. don't care. They're like, I'll be dead by then, so why should I care? Or they, <laughs> they already don't. have enough money to pass it on, so that shouldn't be a problem, even though they probably have shit at, shithead kids that will just waste it all. Right, no, they just, they don't, if there's not a benefit for themselves, then they're, they're just not going to care. And there's no repercussions for it. Right. I mean, at least in China, whenever they have, like, elected officials, they actually take them to the jails to show people who have been in jail for corruption. <laughs> like they actually show really? them this could happen oh, to funny. you if you do get caught doing you any see this? sort of corruption. you don't you want this to be you, you do you see, that person was in the same position as you that's funny yeah they do that and i'm like why can't we do that here like uh, i bet our economy would be a lot better if people actually owned up to their own shit because like we because we value money so much you know you can't eat money 
I mean, you can buy things. To you eat can buy with things money, to eat with money. But if there's nothing to buy, then you can't you can't eat it. <laughs> if there's nothing to buy, then you can't. Well, if there's not enough people to work. To make oh. things, or if your environment's too wrecked to grow the food. Gotcha. I mean, <laughs> it is high in fiber, though, money. Whatever. In some ways, <laughs> I'm not. In some ways, I'm not too different. I guess not. No. I'm not rich or anything. It's not like I have this overabundance of money. But no. like, uh, I'm very much a um, hey, you know. If things are going well, and I should just be content, kind of guy. Like it's like, no, I'm not super rich, but hey, I'm doing the things that I like to do, and I'm enjoying my life, so I'll just go ahead and do that. But not to the point where I'm ignoring other people who aren't. Yeah, or at least it's just. We, I don't know. we try to help out people as much as we can. Yeah. Well, I mean, we could do better. We could see but... that's the, that's always the the, the double edged sword. Like well, you, you honestly, can say all you want, I mean... but it's like. How much better are you, you know? Well, I mean, you could do a ton of stuff and still feel like you're not doing as much as you could. Yeah, I, I could I could absolutely like devote all of my time if I wanted like, to. Like we could both sign Like all this time I'm doing all this time I'm doing video games, yeah, I could do something, you know. We could sign up for the Peace Corps. So why so why am I doing all these the world and take care of Right, people. so why am I doing all these video games instead? Well, cuz I like it. So Well, because So, you know, so I said in, in some yeah, so I said in some ways I guess I'm not so different. Everyone is a little bit selfish. All the time. All the time. I don't maybe, you know, as long as you're not making things worse in the world, then there's Yeah, but then you well, then well, you get yeah, people who are gonna depends. argue about the bystander effect, you know? Well, I think it depends on like context in that sense then. We're getting philosophical you know? today. Like, okay, so you're spending your free time playing a video game when you could be doing something else that's more beneficial to the society. But you're not making society any worse by hanging out in your house and not bothering anyone. Yeah, that's true. And, I mean... Is that really all that bad? No, it's not bad. <laughs> Some people might say it is, though. <laughs> I don't know. I just... Ethics is so confusing. Yeah. Ethics is hard. <laughs> That's why I failed it. No, I'm just kidding. I did not fail my ethics class. I don't think I had an ethics class. There's, oh, you there's an have ethics taken, class? Like, yeah, there's an entire, like, um, Man, it sounds like a good idea. ethics. Well, I know that, but, like, when did you take an ethics class? Was this a high school course? No, was this a college was, course? Um, was this... My college online course is my first summer at WSU. There's an ethics course, huh? Yeah, there was... Okay. It was called Philosophy of Eth Ethics. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. It was a philosophy course. Because then, so. yeah, then it's kind of like, because, like, I, I guess I was envisioning something where you're talking about ethics, where this is, sounds like it's the study of ethics. No, but there's different, like, you know, ways you can study ethics. Like, you know, there's, um, well, there's philosophy of ethics. I mean, I'm sure there's, we had basically a digital ethics class that was just renamed something else. Oh, okay. It was my um, dig digital rhetoric course oh yeah and basically all it was is like you know what is ethically okay given the digital technology that we have mm -hmm. and a lot of it talked about privacy a lot of it talked about um anonymity on the internet a lot of it talked about cultural appropriation in the digital age a lot about cultural appropriation in, di in the digital age it was kind of obnoxious to a point Oh, really? Well, my professor, she was a, um, originally a, uh, anthropology, cultural anthropology major. Uh-huh. And so she basically did a lot of digital-related stuff revolving around cultural, cultural anthropology, and most of her studies were with the Maori tribes in New Zealand. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, and so a lot of her work had to deal with um, trying to archive their cultural heritage that's being lost without um, being disrespectful to their cultural beliefs. Ooh, that's a tough line to walk. Oh, yes. And so they tried to develop a website that would share this knowledge to the rest of the world and spread it, mm. but they had different protocols that you had to, you know, I don't know, like register for. 
so you could actually get access to sacred information. Okay, I see. So, like, you know, there's, like, information for only men or information for only women, and that's very sacred to that culture. Yeah. And, you know, breaking, that's kind of disrespectful to the culture, so, like, only women were allowed to see these different parts of the website, which is, you know has its own weird ethical thing if you look at it cross culturally. Well, if you look at it cross culturally, but we're but we're, we're respecting this culture respecting even this even culture. if it doesn't and align. Like if I was talking about personally, I think that's that sounds like sexist bullshit. But oh, yeah, no. but I that's not my culture. So, yeah. You know. And I mean like the way that that sort of information really is like cuz I looked at it and it's inherently harmless to keep it s separate from one another. Like it didn't really cause any like harm in their society to have those sort of lines, you know? Okay, so, uh, all right. It's, it's really, it's complicated. Yeah, I mean, it, it's yeah. a different culture. It's a different yeah. mindset of people. And, you know, if it works for them and they're not hurting each other, then I don't really see a problem in it, I guess. It's not my style, but if they want to live that way, they can live with it that way. Right, I mean, <laughs> if they want to change, they can start their revolution. <laughs> <laughs> they can they can take care of themselves. Like, yeah, we can't. We just, let's just not do colonialism again. Right. Let's not <laughs> let's not police the world. Let's not do what we used to do because obviously oh, used to. Oh yeah, we still do. It, <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> when did when did we stop? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, humans are funny. Uh, I guess you know it's just. Oh no, it's peeing stuff. everywhere. Oh god. But yeah, that's that's kind of what. That was basically my digital ethics class. I decided, I, I guess, at this this episode was the one we were going to get really heavy on, yeah. on topics. Sorry. Guess what episode it is? What? 69. God damn it. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh no, it's peeing everywhere. Yeah, so much pee. Fish <laughs> need to stop peeing everywhere. I mean, I guess that's just what fish do. They just pee where they're going, like most animals. Yeah. Well, I think they have like a weird guano thing where it's like part solid, part liquid. Oh, yeah, don't they? The weird little stringy thing that comes out of them. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever watched a fish poop? Yes. It's so weird. Because <laughs> it's just this little string, and they just kind of keep swimming along, just let them float around on their butt. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> it's really gross. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It sure is, Rosie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, this shows you how open my workplace is. It does. Um, no, oh, oh, what no, you're about, what to, what say. I'm about to say. Got it. Sorry, I was like, I what? Have mentioned that. Me talking about fish poop shows you how open my workplace is. No, I, I guess. No, but it reminds me of another thing. Okay. Recently, uh -huh. um, in the break room, myself, a salesperson, and um, basically our boss, were all sitting around talking about enemas. Enemas. And shooting water up your butt to clean it out. It's basically a butt douche. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, we were talking about enemas. They started it, by the way. They also, were talking about how it feels great. A butt douche sounds like an <laughs> insult to somebody. Hey, man, you're such a butt douche. <laughs> <laughs> you're such an enema. <laughs> Don't be such an enema. With friends like these, who needs an enemas? <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>